Okay, what are we going to do today? So, we are going to prove that air occupies space. space. Okay. Uh, what First, you need is a tissue, and a glass cup, and, and a bowl full of water. Alright, so what are you going to do now? Uh, you, you have to fold the, t the tissue, and then put it in. So you have to make sure that it's really tight, right? Um, so, I don't really want tissue. Oh, we can get another one. So we need to make sure it's tight so that it won't fall. Try to check the tissue. Is it wet? No, it's just no. wet because I actually okay, put it Okay, so inside. it didn't get wet. Let's try to. Okay, just push it down. Make sure it's on the side again. Okay, and then try to put it again inside. No, no. need to like put, push it really hard. Okay. All right, so that's enough. All right, so slowly put it back again. Are you going to do next? Uh, we're gonna um, not fully lift it up. We're just gonna uh, lift release the the air. air slowly. Okay. So the air was released and it Make got bubble. away. Yeah. Yes. By the shape of a bubble. So so we we try to let some of the water inside the glass. Oh. Did you release most of it? More, I think. Need to release more. Okay, that's enough. Put it back. Is it enough? Okay. So we can now uh, yeah, lift it up slowly. Okay, and try to check what happened to the tissue. So what happened? It's not wet. It's still wet on the seat. It became wet. Some of this. It's because this one was lower. No, because this was this, this reached the. Uh, no yeah, water. it reached the water. Right? I think. So what what is our conclusion now? So. Uh, is that um air um occupies space? Yeah. So because we released the air. Oh, this so was the out. air went. Oh, I know. So the air went out, right? Yeah. So the air went out, and, and now bubbles. and now the water was able to get in. So. The water actually occupied the space inside the glass. That's why it reached the tissue. 